This activity is called King of the Ring. It is designed for fundamental stage development players, six to eight years of age. The equipment required for the practice include four cones and a soccer ball for each player. It's important to notice how the coach engages and involves the children during the activity by asking them questions which empowers them as well as providing them with encouragement and praise. Take note of the outcomes in the four corners of development. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, all right? Everyone see the white square? Yeah? Okay, we're going to play a game. Some of you guys have probably played it before. It's called King of the Ring, okay? All right, I know it's not a circle, it's going to be a square, all right? I'm going to explain what happens, all right? Once you guys get a soccer ball, you're going to come back and you guys are going to stay inside the white square. So we're going to dribble inside the white coned area, okay, inside the square. When I say go, everyone's got to dribble the ball, keeping the ball moving, all right, but try and steal someone else's ball and kick it out the area. Here's the rule. If your ball gets kicked out, you've got to go get your ball. You've got to bring it back and you've got to do 10 toe taps to get back in. What's a toe tap? Everyone knows what a toe tap is, yeah? Good, all right. So we do two, 10 toe taps and then you can get, get it come back in. Wait, can you kick it like anywhere? Kick it anywhere, okay. But if your ball stops, you're out. Okay, do you understand? So as soon as you're out, you get your ball 10 toe taps back in. Before we get begin, I just want everyone to dribble inside the space, okay, inside the area. So we're dribbling, we have to keep our head up, remember, and our ball always moves. The emphasis for the coach includes creating a safe environment, positive reinforcement, praise, and demonstration of the activity. Okay, and stop there, and stop there. Okay, hey, everything's so fast. All right, and it's good that we're going quickly, but we must keep our ball under control. What else must I do when I'm dribbling? Head up. Head up. Why? Why is it important? So you can see the field. See the field. What else can I see? The field. Good. The spaces, other players, other people. So I want you guys to dribble, but keep your head up and find the space. Off we go. Dribble. There's not a lot of room, so you've got to keep your head up and keep your ball under control. The outcomes in the technical corner include dribbling and shielding the ball. We're going to begin the game in three, two, one. Game on, play. Oh, Nadav, you're out. Ten toe taps. Ten quick toe taps to get back in. Christian as well, ten toe taps. Let's go. Nice and fast, you get back in the game. Oh, we're out! Ten toe taps, Emilio, nice and fast. One, two, three, four. Excellent. The outcomes in the physical corner include change of direction, change of speed, agility, balance, Ten and toe coordination. Taps. Get back in! You can never stop your ball. And freeze. Fantastic. Excellent, guys. Well done. Okay? You guys that are out, you guys owe me 10 toe taps before you come back in. Are we good? Are we ready? Just dribble just now inside the box. The game's not started yet, everyone moving. Can we keep our head up? Are we ready? Three, two, one, game on, play! Keep your ball moving, if you stop your ball, you're out. Oh, there's Marcus out. Ben, 10 toe taps. Josh, 10 toe taps to get back in. It's got to be fast, fast. The outcomes in the psychological corner include decision making, spatial awareness, confidence, and fun. Oh, we're all bunched together. We're all bunched together. Twenty seconds. The players remaining inside the box are the winners. Whoever's still in the box wins. 20 seconds. The outcomes in the social corner include listening and celebrating. 10 toe taps to up. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. You have to be inside. 10 toe taps before you come in. Christian, 10 toe taps. And time. Excellent work. All right. Everyone bring it in just now. Everyone bring it in. So, why is it important we keep our ball moving? What do we discuss? What do we talk about? <coughs> so then it's not to the field? I'm not talking to you, is it that? To the field, to the fenders, to the fenders. But why is it important I don't stop my ball? 
Marcus. 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 Props, fantastic, all right. Why is it important to keep our head up when we dribble? So you, you, like, you know where to dribble. Because if you stop the ball, they can just get out. No, but why is it important to keep our head up? Oh. Christian? So you don't bump into people. Good. And what else can we see? Defender. See the space to dribble in. Good. Who else do we have to see on the field? There's Nicholas? Our teammates. Our teammates and? The defenders. Yeah. Defenders. Hey, fantastic. Great job, guys. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to leave the balls. I need a high five from everyone, and then you guys go get a quick drink. Okay?